Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We have reached the letter N and that is all about natural language queries. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is still technically a preview feature, which means it's not necessarily fully complete. Um, there are, isn't support provided for this preview feature um, and it might have limited or restricted functionality. So it's something to be aware of and you can certainly check it out. Um, it's easy to turn on and turn off again. And that is the natural language queries. So we need to go ahead and actually turn this on first. So the very first thing we're going to do is go into the settings area and then we go into the feature switches. And what we're going to do is if we scroll down a little bit, we can see segmentation and then we've got this natural language queries. So this basically allows you to kind of use almost like um, real language, common words and phrases when you're building your segments rather than actually having to go down and pick all of the fields. So we'll take a look at it. There are certainly some things that um, I prefer to actually then build the segments rather than having the words that I'm typing be the thing that builds it. But let's look at see and see how it works. Now, this is currently only supporting English language queries. So that's something else to keep in mind as well. So once you've turned this on, then you go ahead and save it from the top. And if you want to turn it back off again, we do the same thing. We just do flip the switch and then save that. All right, so once that's on, we go back into the marketing area and we go down to the segments. Okay, so I'm going to do a new dynamic segment and I'm going to ignore all of these templates and I'm going to go ahead and skip this and I'm going to say that this is contacts in London. So I'm just going to give it that as a name. So the first thing I'm going to do is quick click on add query block and you'll see immediately that because I've turned on that natural language query in the um, uh, feature switch area, it's basically saying, do you want to try natural language input? If I click on learn more, it then gives me some um, a bit of an overview with some ideas with some suggestions so we can see an overview and then it basically says okay this works with common data service or dataverse um, and a little bit about machine learning so you can go ahead and read through that and even jump in to get more information and go out to the marketing documentation okay so i'm going to close that and what i'm going to do is just type in contacts who live in london so once i've typed that i'm going to go ahead and hit enter and what that's going to do is build that query for me so again we've got time for a quick review if i click on learn more it's going to take me to the same place i can say do not show again that's fine we can see that this has now said okay contacts where the address one city field is in London. If I want to check and see, has that pulled anyone back? I can click on estimate size and we can see actually there are four and that's about right, I think in my environment, there's four that have that city of London. I can then go ahead and I can click yes or click the update to basically say, yeah, that's brought back what I want. So that's going to help in terms of that machine learning. So my segment is done. I can go ahead and save it. Um, and if everything's okay, I can go ahead and I can take that live. All right, so we'll go ahead and build another one that has a couple of pieces of criteria. So I'm gonna go back to new dynamic segment and we'll skip this. And I'm gonna go ahead with contacts that have company name and have email. Let's see what that does. So this is where I feel that I could build this a lot faster than I'm sitting waiting for it to build the query for me. But it's interesting that this functionality is in here. So what we've now got is that the company name contains data and the email contains data as well. Now, what you haven't seen is that um, as I've been prepping for this video and going through and looking at options, I have done about three or four different pieces of logic in terms of typing that natural language query. So to me, it hasn't been very intuitive. I've put companies with company name, oh sorry, contacts with company name that have email, companies with company name and email. So I've done quite a few variations. So 
it's a little bit challenging in terms of having to keep going back and, and typing. And like I said, I could have built this like in a minute. Um, so it's interesting to know that it's in here, but again, it's maybe sometimes a, a little bit frustrating because it's not quite as um, logical as maybe our human brains work. So I'm gonna say um, contact with company and email and I can go ahead and then save that. So I think it's certainly something to have a look at and know that it exists, whether you actually use it in your environment yet. Um, it could end up causing more confusion for your users than anything else. So know that it's there, know that N stands for natural language queries and then make up your own mind. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.